Hi, my name is Linda Hansel. I'm thinking about the verse Romans 8:28. A lot of Christians quote that verse, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. And that verse is kind of hard to understand because it says, and all things work together for good. I had a hard time understanding that verse until somebody pointed out it says, all things work together for good. Here's a perfect example. The story of Joseph found in Genesis. It starts in chapter 37 and it goes through to chapter 45. That's the little synopsis of it. It's a great story. You should read it. But basically what happens is Joseph had 10 older brothers who were jealous because dad obviously showed favoritism to Joseph and they got more and more jealous. So one day while they were out in the fields, Joseph, they could see Joseph coming across the field toward them and they're like, here comes Joseph, dad's favorite. Let's kill him. Well, one of the brothers was like, uh, I don't think so. And so they all just decided to throw him in a pit. And it was like a well, only the well was dry. And they just left him there. And then they took this special coat that Joseph wore all the time that dad had had made for him. And they dipped it in blood, a lamb's blood or something. And they did that so that it would look like Joseph got killed. And Judah, the older brother had said to himself, when my brothers are gone, I'm going to go get that, get Joseph out of the pit. We're not going to leave him there. But while Judah, Judah was off doing some other things, the brothers saw a slave wagon coming and they thought, hey, let's just sell him. We won't kill him. We'll just sell him as a slave. So they did. They pulled him up out of the pit. They sold him and off he went miles and miles and miles and miles and miles away. And in that day, there was no such thing as telephones or any other way to find out how Joseph was doing. And so Joseph was sold off to slavery. Well, that doesn't look very good, does it? So Potiphar, a man in Egypt, a man who had authority, bought Joseph. So Joseph became a slave in Potiphar's house. And over time, he did so well that he became a very important man. He had just as much author more authority, in fact, than anyone else except Potiphar himself. Potiphar's wife took a liking to him and wanted her, him to commit adultery with her. And he's like, uh, no. So eventually she lied and she said that Joseph had raped her. Well, that doesn't look very good, does it? And Joseph was thrown into prison. Well, that doesn't look very good, does it? And over time, Joseph interpreted two dreams, one for the baker and one for the cupbearer of the king. And those dreams came true, but nobody remembered that Joseph could interpret dreams. And so he was stuck. Yet in that time, he became better and better and better known as a great leader in prison. And eventually, he was in charge of the prison. But he was still in prison. Then the king had a dream that no one could interpret. And the cupbearer remembered, oh wait, I remember. This is guy named Joseph in prison. He interprets dreams. So they said for him, it had been two years since he had interpreted the cupbearer's dream. And they brought him up and he interpreted the dream correctly. And the king made him vice president vice king in the entire land. And from there, Joseph was able to save the people from a great famine. And eventually his own family came and asked for food. And they didn't recognize him because he looked like an Egyptian. So you have, he got thrown into a pet, he got sold as a slave. He was wrongfully accused of rape. He got thrown into prison. He was forgotten in prison. None of those things look to go very good, do they? No, but they worked together to save the people of Israel from ultimate famine. And there's a very famous verse, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, where he says to his brothers, you meant it for evil, but God meant it 
for good. Whatever you're going through, don't get discouraged. Tell yourself, it doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm serving the Lord with all my heart. And I am going to believe that all of this will work together for good. My name is Linda Hansel. This is my book, God is Ahead of Us. You can buy my book on Amazon or you can get a signed copy from me on Facebook. Remember, God really is working all things together for good.